Hi there, this is Anton, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new feature, um, a shading compensation filter called the manual 3D RBF filter. The RBF stands for radial basis function, but you don't need to know that. Um, all you need to know is this is a really great way to compensate for uh, grayscale variations across your image. So you might find it useful when, for example, you have a um, beam hardening artifacts, as in the case here with a, um, a turbine blade where the tip of the blade is darker than the middle of the blade on the side. Um, it could, can also be useful when you have simply a brighter side of an image on the top of the image is brighter than the bottom, for example. So in this case, um, this is a typical uh, example of a CT data where it's difficult to segment this blade. So just to show you the segmentation using refine, uh, define range or showing a histogram selection, you would have a difficulty thresholding this due to the grayscales. So that's why it's um, necessary or useful to actually apply image filters to improve this. So this image filter is quite uh, um, a very useful tool to, to compensate grayscale changes. Let me demonstrate something briefly here. If we take a line profile across this um, blade like this, and we click on profile intensity, we see that it's changing, it's increasing in brightness from 32,000 at the tip all the way up to about 50,000 in the middle of the blade. So we'll come back to this after compensating for this. So for using the to get to the manual 3D RBF filter, you have to click on the image channel or image object on, on the right, go to workflows image filtering. So in this um, filtering context, there are many filters here. You can also use denoising like median filter, for example. Um, but what we're gonna look at today is the manual 3D, just, uh, there it is, the manual 3D RBF filter. And um, what, how this works is on the left, we have a preview and on the right, on the left, we have the original data and on the right, the preview data. So if you use the mouse left click and select a number of points in the material, um, all these points uh, need, uh, this is basically telling the algorithm that you want all these points to be the same graver grayscale value. So if you look at that and computer preview, you see that's very nice. The tip gets brighter and the middle stays the same. So all of these um, material, uh, all the all parts of the blade now have the same grayscale intensity, which is really nice because you, are, you can manually also optimize this. You can go through your data and see, okay, if I, let's look at this one, we can preview what that does. And we can say, okay, it's over here, still a bit dark in this region. So you add a few points in this region and compute preview. And if you have some area like in this region, maybe compute preview and so on. So you can uh, do that across the entire blade. And then once you are done, click apply. So it's also possible to add denoising filters and you can do any sequence of denoising and shading compensations and apply all of that and the end result is you have a new filtered image channel you just have to close image processing toolbox with this little button on the left here so now we are back to the original context we see the original image data and a new image channel there the new channel looks like this i'm not going to suggest this is the best way but if you click on the ruler and we have a look at that you have an increasing grayscale on the original data but pretty much constant grayscale on the, on the compensated data. So that's very useful for many applications, I believe. And please let us know when you have good success with this filter. So that's the end of this demo. I hope you find this useful. Goodbye.